one of the main questions that I get asked by patients uh, that have had a brain injury, a stroke, or going through treatment for cancer is, why am I so tired? Um, and it's really the number one complaint of people that have had a stroke or a brain injury uh, is fatigue. And think of it as there's good tired and there's bad tired. So when you're particularly younger and you're healthy and you go to work out uh, and you get that exhaustion and you really worked out to the limit, but then you kind of get a high off of it and you recover pretty quickly. But then there's bad tired that if you do too much or you get tired after a stroke or brain injury, it takes longer to recover from that. So fatigue is sort of that feeling and the need to rest every day and it doesn't refresh with sleep or a nap like it does when, before you've had your stroke. And it's about 50% of all stroke survivors have problems with fatigue. Now you may be told, learn to live with it, take more naps. And I think we need to be more proactive than that about fatigue. So first, what we always look for are treatable problems. Sleep apnea, excessive snoring, daytime sleepiness, is really a risk factor for stroke to start with and gets worse after stroke. So that if you or your loved one notices that you're snoring a lot, um, it seems like you almost stop breathing, it may be that you've developed sleep apnea after your stroke, and that will make you fatigued, and we need to treat that. So suggest that to your physician if you're having that problem. The other thing is have your physician check your medication. Frequently the medications that we're taking cause fatigue. Uh, I think we've all had that experience with taking the old antihistamines we used to take when you had a cold and it was great for drying up your cold but you had trouble getting through the day at work. So look through your medicine. The other things that help, get out and walk if you can. Upper extremity exercise. Good sleep habits. One of, one of the bad things that we do now, we look at our screens, right, at night and we're looking at this and then try to go to sleep and the data says you shouldn't be doing that and avoid long-term naps during the day uh, because you may not be sleepy at night. Contrary to public opinion, say, well, you know, I have a drink at night and then I feel better and I'll go to sleep. It really is counterproductive drinking. And check in, you may not know that you're depressed. Ask your spouse, um, ask friends, do you think I'm depressed? Do you think I'm down? Depression is really common. About 50% of stroke survivors have problems with depression. And finally, the controversial area is the use of medication, is the use of stimulants. Um, and the literature might say it doesn't show that it helps recovery. On the other hand, I've treated many patients with daytime sleepiness who are fatigued after they've had their stroke, can't kind of get going with very low doses of a stimulant such as methylphenidate or modafinil and it's made a dramatic difference in their life. It's something you'll have to discuss with your physician and see what their attitude is, but it's something to consider.